All right, we're going to do a video here exposing some things. Um, if you've been following the ministry, you understand that we were we had sold our property in the area here, and we were going through some real trials with you know the bank and and the different people involved in the in the you know property, all the stuff that goes through there, the paperwork and everything. And we, they just kept on delaying it and delaying it and delaying it. And it was making it look like, you know, it's not going to even go through. And we're just going like, what on earth is going on here? And, you know, we just thought, well, probably spiritual thing, the Lord's timing, whatever, whatever. But there was this guy that was writing in the comments about how that uh, if I didn't take it easy on the Catholics, um, they weren't going to release the payment for my property that I sold. And I'm going like, okay, yeah, weirdo, whatever, you know kind of a nut and I eventually just had to block the guy because he was he was writing some really really vile things and I'll show you the, this guy right here Dr. Bobalicious here he's attacking me for for saying it's a sin to monetize Christian videos but I uh, show you who the guy is here now you go here and this YouTube stuff has changed so I can't show you the description anymore of um, what all he's doing here and it could be because of me blocking him I don't know but I took a screenshot so you'll get to see what this guy is. Um, here's the screenshot. My military experience, United States Air Force officer, uh, going back there 79 to 89, um, with all these different things here. But uh, where's the security clearance, top secret SBI, then top secret SIOPESI, -E honorable discharge 1989. SBI um, uh, is a Oh boy. I know SCI is sensitive compartmentalized information. I forget what SBI is. Sensitive background investigation or something to that effect. And, um, you know, top secret level is, ooh, it's really, really up mm -hmm. there. But there's things that surpass TS level. So there's designators that they yeah. have. So basically, he's a military officer, retired military officer. Spook. At, at least we think he is. Maybe he's just some video game playing teenager that wrote all this stuff out. I don't know. But the whole point is, we were just kind of like, okay, this is really weird. This guy's a, a military spook, military intelligence. Spook means intelligence. And um, we we're kind of like, okay, this is really odd. You know, that this guy here is saying this weird stuff about, you know, we are stopping the payment and all this other stuff and I'm thinking okay what what in the world you know how are Catholics stopping this whole deal so my wife did a little bit of digging around and she found the law firm that's working with you know down in the southern part of Maine I guess that's working with the property sale thing um, and just to show you this isn't just about us and oh look what happened to us whatever but just to show you how infiltrated this whole society is uh, with you know, people that are Catholic and Jesuit trained. Again, people don't, you know, they just look and they say, oh, the Catholic Church isn't that powerful. They're just, you know, this, the Pope, little grandfather Pope over there, oh, bless you, bless you. And that's, that's the Catholic Church. Uh, no, they're, they're connected, very, very highly connected. So let's show you some of the people here involved with this law firm that was involved with the sale of our property and the whole the whole deal um so scroll what are we looking at scroll up a little bit so they can see the law firm name oh okay there. pierce atwood llp okay and right here boston college jesuit okay that boston college is a jesuit organization and right. mr alberti luigi alberti is counsel which means uh that's a special leadership role in the law firm. Okay. Jesuit. So, yep. Go to the next one. I'm going to go through a bunch of these real quick. Michael right Anderson. There. How ironic. Same last name as a certain person. Now, come on. Okay. Oh, La did La I Sal say that? I think so. LaSalle University is Jesuit? No, openly Catholic. Catholic. Okay, so he's a Catholic. And again, this guy is saying, you know. And he's, he's a partner. Okay, the, the whole reason I'm bringing this up is because this military goon was saying that he's working with people, Catholics and stuff like this, to mess up our, the whole sale of our property. I just kind of was like, okay, you weirdo. But then you actually see the law firm, and it's like Catholic, Jesuit, Catholic, Catholic, Catholic. And just let's go through these. View more real quick, just to okay. show something else, which is rather interesting. Civic activities, member, Catholic identity and ministry community 
Committee of the Mercy Hospital Board of Trustees. So he's yeah. tied in with the medical establishment, military medical establishment, yep. officially. Okay, next one. This guy, University of Notre Dame, openly Catholic. Mr. Mm -hmm. David Berry, a managing partner. Again, leadership guy. Yep. Okay, next one. Mr. Barzillet, Georgetown University, Jesuit. Yep, definitely. And he's a, a partner. Definitely a George or, or a uh, Jesuit institution. Oldest one, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Mr. Baxter, an associate, uh, Niagara University, openly Catholic. It's an ACCU designation, Association of Catholic Colleges and Universities, ACCU. Okay. Mr. Next one. Beliveau, uh, St. John's University, that is openly Catholic. So another Catholic at this law firm. Mm -hmm. He's a partner. Georgetown University, again. He's openly Jesuit and a partner. Jesuit educated. Mm -hmm. Boston College, College of the Holy Cross. He is thoroughly Jesuit, both yep. bachelor and doctorate level, and he's special counsel. How convenient. Mm -hmm. Emily Cook, openly Jesuit, Georgetown, Georgetown University, University partner. Counsel, uh, De La Hanty, uh, Boston College, Jesuit counsel. Okay. Uh, this Mr. Derdarian, Der Der associate, University of Notre Dame, Boston College, openly Catholic, openly Jesuit. Yep. This partner, uh, openly Catholic through and through. Mm -hmm. University of Notre Dame. Okay. Dunlap, uh, University of Notre Dame, openly Catholic, Man. associate. And Pensacola Christian College. Hmm. <laughs> Shows you the roots How about of... that? You know, the Baptists down there and University of Notre Dame, then he goes to, to a Baptist school. Yeah. Well, Baptist school, I think, first and then Notre Dame. Was it? Yeah. His, 2005 his... and then 2008. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. I was going to say, a maybe Baptist. he got saved, you know, after coming out now, but he actually went Christian, Pensacola Christian, the Baptist school, big Baptist college. And then, uh, then he went to Catholic after that. So, yeah. so much for that theory. <laughs> Mr. Farrell, openly Jesuit partner. Yep. Northeastern is. And That's Boston. public. That's a okay. well, actually Northeastern is a private secular, not openly okay. Catholic. But Boston College is definitely openly Jesuit. Jesuit yes. <clears throat> okay. Continuing. Georgetown. Yep. I think we openly. know what that one is. Mm -hmm. And notice how these guys are all in leadership positions. Uh, Santa Clara University, that is, uh, we're on Kenneth Gray, openly Jesuit. Santa Clara University is Jesuit, and he's a partner. Mm -hmm. Georgetown University. Openly Jesuit, and she's a partner. Yep. This woman, she's an associate, and she graduated from Boston College. Boston College, again. Jesuit. Jesuit. Ryan Kelly, Boston an College. associate. Yep. Except for the first one, he's thoroughly Jesuit educated. Yep. Lancaster Junior Council, and he's an old timer, uh, College of the Holy Cross. And uh, let me get to my page here. Lancaster Junior, uh, openly Jesuit, openly Catholic. St. Joseph's College, openly Catholic, College of the Holy Cross, Jesuit. And he's a council. How convenient. Yep. Remember, you have to have a college education to get a good job. Oh, yes. In other words, uh, let's, let's translate that into the reality speak. You have to go to a Roman Catholic institution of higher learning to be accepted into certain circles. Yes, and to get certain yeah. leadership roles. That's what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Again, this, is just, this study is just to show you how tied in the, the Catholics are with all this stuff. And there's other organizations too, uh, different uh, fraternal organizations and things that are tied to that. And there's a whole lot of these other lawyers in this Pierce Hatwood thing that are tied into that. We're not going to even bother getting into that stuff. Well, these are the but ones who are openly Jesuit, openly I know, that's what Catholic. I'm saying. But I'm saying there's others in Pierce Atwood yes. that are also part of other stuff. fraternal things and whatever else that might not be openly Catholic, but they're tied in with fraternal things. Right. So, but anyways, you see it again. Boston College. Openly Jesuit associate. His title is associate. Yep. Mr. Uh, Miss Little. Liddell, uh, openly Jesuit, Boston and she's College a partner. 
Okay. Mr. Another Little. One. Openly Jesuit, and he's a partner. Okay, don't pick on him. He's just little. Oh, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. anyways. He's I had a to say that. There, Jesuit little. law degree. He ain't little in terms of... <laughs> of uh, His connections. Of Satanism. Yep. Oh, okay, this guy. Mr. Okay. Manheimer. Interesting. Scroll down. Well, First Fordham. Of all, Fordham, same school that mm -hmm. Trump went to. Jordan, or Jesuit University partner. And this guy is key in this law firm. Here's why. Right there is the bank that uh, this mortgage thing, the people that bought our property, they went through. Some say Machias, some say Machias, whatever right. it is, how you pronounce it. Um, but yeah, that's that's the one that uh, was given all the trouble and stuff like right. that. Right, and check so, out the other national and community banks he represents. Yep. Key Bank, the first bank, Bank of America, mm -hmm. Bangor Savings Bank, Northeast Bank, and uh, quite yep. a list that so, he influences. Jesuit again, you partner. Gotta get, you got to get that right, you know, education to get into the sure. right job. Suck up to the right people. Yep. Mr. McCarthy, Jesuit partner. Boston College. Keep going. Yep. Sarah McGarrell, thoroughly Jesuit from bachelor's to doctorate level. And she's yep. an associate. Thoroughly Jesuit. Another one. Miss Miner Minervino. She is a... Uh, University of Notre Dame. Openly Catholic. And, so. scroll down a little bit, this is important. Uh, gives some light on political okay. stuff currently. View more. And... Check this out. Um, current vice chair of the Immig American Immigration Lawyers Association Verification and Worksite Enforcement Liaison Community. She's also tied in with the uh, uh, Asylum Seekers Honors and Distinctions um, right here. Outstanding Service Award from the Immigrant Legal Advocacy Pro Project in Maine for her pro bono, which means representing people for free representation of asylum seekers i.e giving refuge to muslims due yep, to the coming in. jesuit and, agenda and the big you know organization that's doing that is catholic charities we showed right. proof of that a while back so interesting crazy but let's keep things moving here we got boston college again yep this woman is educated. a council jesuit yep partner boston college yep Jesuit partner. This is all just, you know, the Pierce Atwood thing here. This one law firm thing. It's right. insane. Boston College, Georgetown University. Thoroughly Jesuit, and he's a partner. Hmm. Yep. Mr. Rayback. Georgetown. Yep. Jesuit educated partner. Yep. And part of a fraternal organization there. Probably right. Masonic. Masonic origin. Yep. Mr. Boston Ritchie. Boston College. Mm hmm. Lewis and Clark Law School is from University of New Hampshire, so it's not openly Jesuit. But still, Jesuit trained partner. Jesuit partner. Yep. Mr. Sanders Jr., uh, Boston College degree. Uh, Jesuit counsel. Jesuit lawyer. Mm-hmm. Continuing. Boston College. Yep, and she's a partner. Hmm. Yep. Continue. Miss Smith, Boston College Jesuit associate. Again, leadership role. Mr. S uh, Ms. Sweenton, Boston College. I think there's something Catholic with the University of Paris, but I'm not quite sure yet. Yeah. But she's still openly Jesuit, educated as a paralegal. How mm -hmm. convenient. Mr. Sten, Catholic University of America, openly Catholic. Yep. And he's a partner. Hmm. Miss Weller, Georgetown University, openly Jesuit. She's counsel. Yep. Mr. Whitney, uh, openly Jesuit for his law Georgetown degree. Georgetown University mm -hmm. again. Partner. Wyckoff. Uh, this guy is interesting because, uh, let me get to my sheet here. Um, go down to the civic activities real quick just to show interesting things here. Um, Board of Trustees Catholic Foundation of Maine 2011 to present. Hmm. So right there, one openly Catholic connection. Scroll up a little bit, please. And we go to the education factor. And he is the University of Notre Dame, openly Catholic, Briarcliff College. Back when he earned his degree, it was a college. As of 2001, it became a university. 
Nonetheless, it has always been an openly Catholic institution. Briarcliff is uh, located in my home state of Iowa, and it is openly Catholic. And yet, this openly Catholic lawyer is a partner in the firm. Leadership role. Yep. And finally, this, Boston College. Yeah. Boston College, openly Jesuit. And another interesting factor is, if you scroll down to Uha Women's University. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that first word. Uh, that is a an American Methodist Episcopal Church, i.e. the word is Episcopal Methodist Church School based out of Seoul, South Korea. So again, openly Catholic, openly Jesuit education, counsel at the mm -hmm. law firm. And of so, course she got in because of her being, you know, um, uh, that special status of PC talk, uh, affirmative action because of her being the only Shemitic person on, on the, mm -hmm. uh, the law firm that I can tell that's yeah. openly Jesuit education. So, so the whole thing is, you know, the whole reason we did this video, can we prove that there was definitely some kind of a, a messing around with the sale of our property or whatever? No, we don't have the actual proof of that. They've pretty much gotten away with it as far as here on earth. They're going to answer before God. Um, but it just it seems awfully weird that we're seeing this from a military spook saying we're stopping. I should have taken a screenshot of it. I didn't think of it at the time. I was just like, okay, you guys messed up. Deleted his comment, blocked him. Now I'm kicking myself. I should have kept the comment, took a, taken a screenshot of it. You know, we have, we're usually really good about that. Um, but we get so many weird comments, you know, whatever. But it just, just to show you, again, out there, Bible-believing Christians, how connected and how the Catholic Church, you know, the Bible says about she's committed fornication with the kings of the earth. She controls the kings of the earth. She's controlling things, manipulative and things like that. This is just an example of it. I mean, just going down through the list of, you know, I mean, you can see here. Let me just go back to this guy. Um, oh, you don't have the thing. Which thing? Uh, PierceAtwood.com. Just oh, people. Just, okay, go read the menu. Right people? there. Yep. Okay, just go back. I mean, this is how we found it. She just went down through and just looked at just went down through these people here and just checked out what they are and you know and stuff and we showed you a huge majority of them are either catholic or jesuit in the and leadership these, roles and these are the people that are that are going to be the lawyers and and things like that passing laws putting people in prison or or doing dealing with properties and dealing with all the legal stuff this is just one law firm mm -hmm. okay and it's crawling with Jesuit trained people and Roman Catholic trained people. And Masons. So when the Bible talks about this great end time power and you go, it can't be the Catholic Church, they're not that connected. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Again, the King James Bible is correct in in saying that there is a this mystery Babylon system reigns over the kings of the earth. Yeah. And this whore sits upon many waters, and the many waters are people, mm -hmm. you know, and nations and things like that. She controls everything. Yes, we're not paranoid, okay? I know people try to say that, and I mean, a lot of them are Catholics that are saying it, you know. And, and you know, let me just say this, too, about what do we think of these people in this law firm? We hope that all of them get saved. There's not one person on that on, in this list here that we hate and just want to kill them or something like that. Not one person. We pray for people's salvation, for Catholic salvation. We truly do love the Catholic people enough to tell them the truth, enough to show them you're not part of Christ's church. Where, where, I mean, where in the world, in the Bible, you read through the New Testament, and it's just like, where is this thing of Jesus telling the disciples, hey, let's create these universities, chapter and verse on that, please. Let's create these universities and train up people to be faithful Christians, well, we won't even use the term Catholic because it's not in the Bible, but let's just say Christian. Let's train these people up to be faithful Christians and then let's get them into every aspect of society and just control the whole thing. And let's have world government and the church ruling the whole world. Where's this at in Scripture? Where's this teaching at in the New Testament? It's not there. It's not there. Why? Because Catholicism is not biblical Christianity. Please understand that. All right? 
So just a just very interesting to see how extremely connected the Jesuits are and the Catholics are. And again, you know, we get this thing. They say, well, they're, they're not Jesuit priests. They can't be Jesuits. We showed in in the one video with Hoven uh, with Hoven that two Jesuit priests came out and said, if you've attended a Jesuit school, you are a Jesuit. You're part of the right. Jesuit family. We're using their own terminology. Okay, so just from an, a Jesuit province own document. Yeah, from a document from a the Midwest <clears throat> Jesuits provi providence. Their own words. We showed the actual printout. Mm -hmm. In the Hoven video, yeah, you can you can watch that if you've if you've not seen it. And speaking of printouts, the... you can try and take down this information, Pierce Atwood LLP, if you're watching this video. But honestly, we got everything printed out. Yep, the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. What's the other thing you have there? These are this just this is uh just mine. to show you here too another thing we printed out. She printed out actually the uh. ACCU, what's that stand for again? Um, Association of Catholic Colleges and Universities. Okay. And the and AJCU, which is have the Jesuit the, version. The thing there, and then, you know, so yeah. Um, we got we, you covered. We're, yeah. Because, I mean, again, we've, we've done so many videos, and, and all of a sudden the websites change and things, mm -hmm. and it's just like, whatever. But, you know, nobody's going to come after us and say, that oh you've lied and slandered people falsely without the documentation we're very very careful when we come out with with things yeah just put them down over there we're very careful when we come out with uh, statements and things like that again that's why people hate us so much because we do document things we do back up what we're saying not only with scripture the King James Bible but also with documentation from secular sources uh, we're very careful about what we say. And um, again, we're not cu accusing anybody at this law firm of they were the ones that did it. We have no idea. But I see some military spook in the comments saying that they're messing around with the sale of our property. And then we go to the law firm that's involved with this whole thing. And we're seeing Jesuit, Catholic, Jesuit, Catholic, Jesuit, Catholic. And the spook said, if you don't quit talking about the Catholic Church, we're not going to allow the payment to go through. And I'm going... Hmm, you know, see, we have a little window of opportunity, brethren, and that is right now because of the Lord opening up a door, and that's what it is. It's not, you know, the great fighting of the Protestant Reformation and whatever else. The Lord opened up a little door for Christians, for the body of Christ, to have religious liberty, to have that freedom, and the Catholics are kind of on the outside of that. And they're saying, you know, they're just kind of coming in. They can't persecute us openly yet. But that time is going to come. There will be public ex executions in the future of the time of Jacob's trouble. The question is the overlap. Is there some coming in before the rapture that Christians are going to start to get persecuted openly? and Or is it going to happen all when the rapture hits? Okay, that's the debate. That's the thing I've been debating for years and years and years. How much persecution is the body of Christ going to see before the rapture? And honestly, the Bible doesn't say. The Bible doesn't say there's going to be horrible persecution before the rapture or there will, the persecution comes in after the rapture. And the reason I, I believe that the Bible doesn't say one way or the other is because it's really up to us. I mean, the Lord's going to protect us. Don't get me wrong, but what I'm saying is, how hard are you going to fight? Yes, we do know that there will come a great falling away. Some shall depart from the faith, giving key to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. There is a, a falling away. But, I believe firmly that the amount of persecution that we're going to get hit with as the body of Christ is directly related to how hard we as Bible-believing Christians fight. Okay? Um... I believe, you know, Romans chapter 11, I'll say this, you can see there that there, a nation will come under God's condemnation if they go against the nation of Israel. If you go against the Jewish people and say, oh, they shouldn't be over there and all the other stuff, God's done with them, replacement theology, the whole thing, God will turn on your nation, okay? And you allow sex perversion to come in and you don't fight against it and things like that, God will allow things, horrible stuff to happen to your nation, 
Okay, so there is a there is a sense in which there are some things that are not clearly stated in Bible prophecy simply because it depends on the meter of how hard are Christians fighting it. And if you don't fight, if you just kind of go along with the world and get worldly, more persecution is going to come. If you fight hard against it, the Lord's going to preserve you. The Lord's going to protect you. We've had a real good opportunity, not only in America, but in the UK, Australia, a lot of other countries. The Catholics have not been op able to openly persecute Bible-believing Christians. And that's because there's still plenty of us out there that are fighting against them, that are witnessing to people, and are trying to expose the works of darkness like this. Okay, I just, I really need to say that. Um, that's been my passion, that's been my drive. My wife is the same way, she feels the same way with this whole thing. You know, we need to, we need to be active in exposing things and just saying, you know, shining the light of truth out there that yes, the Jesuits and the Catholics are very connected and witness to these people, you know. Again, if, if, if any of these people come to me and start threatening me, I'm going to preach the gospel to them, you know. So uh, just, just an interesting thing, just to, again, to show you how connected things are and to think, I want you to wake up and, and realize that it's not some safe little happy world that, that everything's okay and all oh, there's no Catholic thing there. Oh, it's very, very real. Okay, so that's going to be it. And I can tell you from personal experience throughout my entire life, uh, the Jesuits are definitely in control of things. Um, mm -hmm. They, all the time, they slide things underneath the rug that they do wrong. You try and report them to the law. This is why, you know, if, if you're a lost sinner and you're watching this and you know that the Jesuits and the Catholics have done something to harm you and your family, the worst thing you can do is go to a law firm. The best thing you can do is cry out to God for help and, you know, ask him for the truth because uh, you're going to run up against this type of thing. Any law firm under the sun is going to be infiltrated with openly open Jesuits, open militant Catholics, and Masons of all different sorts. And mm -hmm. uh, they're not going to stand up for you. They're going to just hide things underneath the rugs because of their connections and if you have family connections tied in with the Jesuits, <coughs> especially like I do, um, you're sunk if you go to law about what they've done to you. Mm -hmm. best you can, the best thing you can do if you are a law sinner and watching this is you need to cry out to God immediately. Stop what you're doing and say, please tell me the truth, God. I just want to know the truth. And he will show you the truth. Are you done? Yeah. That's good. Are you sure you're done? I don't know. Okay. Boo. Okay. Did I scare you with my scary eyes? No. No, you didn't. Really? You didn't really have much attitude in this one. Oh, boy. I don't know. Should we redo it, maybe? Because, like, you weren't really mean enough and stuff like that. The comments aren't going to be all that good. I mean, they're, all these people, you know, I think they're going to be kind of let down that, that, you know. I didn't show my freaky eyes. Yeah. You do have your dress on that people hate those so much, so. And my long hair down? Yeah, it's terrible. Oh, isn't that terrible? I'm not a good global citizen, am I? No, well, you know, yeah, but that's not the thing. I mean, you know, you see you should be nasty, so people write nasty comments, and then that, that really upsets you and everything, right? Should I put on a show like Jesuit Jones? I All mean, right. <clears throat> Alex Jones? Okay, enough. So, <laughs> just had to put that little thing in the end there, you know. We get, we get kind of concerned when the, the comments start to get, you know, when the people aren't hating us so much anymore and stuff like that. I mean, we're, you know, we get some stuff written about us and things like that. We like to read it, you know, and it's, it's, a, it's a good laugh, you know, and stuff sometimes. And so, <laughs> so, anyhow. All right, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching.